Haley, 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 Haley. <laughs> That's how we're going to start this one off. Wow. <laughs> Just get right into it. Welcome back to the Rebel Femme Podcast. It's been a minute. We're here for another Welp review because we just really freaking love Yelp so much. So <laughs> we're going to we're going to be breaking down some uh, Yelp reviews because as promised to everybody on the TikTok, the Tiki Talk and Instagram <laughs> and Yelp itself, we're going to be going over a public review from... Our, cl- our client Haley here, and I can say her name because her name's right here, Haley W. It is. So it is right there. Might even put it up on the YouTube video, show the review itself, so everyone can read it. And the reason why we're going over it today is because um, it is a public <laughs> review. So there we go. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it. You are now listening to Rebel Femme Podcast, an honest conversation about hair, life, and everything super random. <laughs> Just always got to specify that it's public. It's public. <laughs> you put that out there, you open that can of worms. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and dive right in. Let's give you a timeline here of what happened with this client because there are two sides to every story. And that's why we like breaking down these. So, you know, a little disclaimer we at, by no means claim that we are perfect. No. We are human. We, um, you know, sometimes don't get it right in the salon. Um, we're not saying that we're perfect every single time. So there are reviews where they're just honest feedback. And I definitely appreciate the feedback. I like the constructive criticism. The way that this review kind of went about was just um in an angle of just pure, to me, nasty, because we not only put it on Yelp, we put it on, or she put it on uh, Instagram and she went to TikTok. And I feel like we're going to break that down a little bit, but the TikTok kind of backfired on her a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to hand it off to you, Yudira, to keep our, this podcast in line because <laughs> I go on tangents all the time. <laughs> all right. So it all started on a Friday. Afternoon. Oh, we're on dates here. Okay, yeah, on Friday I afternoon. Am. Okay. You told me right timeline of events. I wrote down timeline of All right, events. Let's do it. She called on a Friday. I actually took that call and noticed that she was a client of a former employee here. Oh, okay. So when I saw that she was returning, I was like, cool, we have a returning guest. She did ask for a haircut and possibly a color appointment if time allowed and if it worked out with that specific stylist. She also wanted to come in within the hour. So luckily we had somebody available. This is a newer stylist of ours. He had just been with us a week, two weeks. Yeah, I don't even think. I think I it think was his first week. week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's she like, didn't... welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> but um, she didn't seem to know who he was when I was booking that appointment, but she was just happy to get a uh, haircut put on the books so I guess you were here too that day Brie yeah yeah oh so we're welcoming Brie to the podcast she is our content creator slash receptionist slash camera woman slash editor (laughs) slash (laughs) she does everything slash 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 (laughs) so let's welcome Brie to the show oops wrong one damn it I meant to do this yeah! <laughs> Five years later, still can't get the soundboard right. You know, I feel like they change around. Okay, so you took the call, Brie. No, no. Oh. Yadira took the call, oh, took but call. I welcomed her. Oh, you welcomed inside. her. And she, when she first saw, I'm not going to say his name, but when she first saw this stylist, she was like, oh my God, like, I love your work. Like, I've been wanting a book with you for a while. So I thought that, like, because we had posted stories that he was new to the team like just like introducing him i thought that maybe like she saw that and was like okay like this is my opportunity to book an appointment with him i thought like she known him yeah i know when she booked that appointment she had no or made no insinuation that she knew him she Mm -hmm. was just kind of like okay cool yeah she's like i love your work like i've been following you for a while like i've been wanting to book an appointment with you so i was like oh okay she's she likes his work. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, this would be cool. So I actually, because it was like one of his first few appointments here, I decided to record 
the appointment until I left. So yeah. I have all the videos. You were the one recording the consultation? Like you actually recorded the whole consultation? Because she had talked about getting a red money piece to incorporate the extensions that she was purchasing. Oh, the extensions <laughs> she never mentioned during her appointment? Which she... Okay. Yeah, she did. She did, right? Well, yeah. I, I feel like since we're at this point, I think we should read her review so our listeners have a little bit of context as to what exactly we are talking about here with this review. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll get to see like the photos and also this review as well that's posted on Yelp. Um, but I'm going to read the original review and then we'll get back to her response to me after I responded to her. Um, but her original review is, um, if I could give Rebel Femme zero stars, I would. I went in for a trim and requested one to two and a half inches off of my hair. That was at my lower back in length. My hair is completely butchered now and barely past my shoulders. I paid $50 for this haircut and requested a refund. They told me no refunds and to get my hair fixed, I have to come back within a seven day window. My hair was my comfort blanket and I used it to cope with my anxiety. Now it's now gone and I had to spend $300 on extensions. And it's so embarrassing to walk around like this and being declined for a refund is absolutely ridiculous. So just to kind of give everybody some context into this bad review, um, we do have a policy that everybody signs in. It's very clear on our booking website. It's clear that when they are booking the actual appointment, they have to check the box that they understand the policy. And then they also check the box and have to read through it again when they are checking in for their appointment and they sign understanding that if for whatever reason, they don't like their hair. They're not 100% satisfied. They have a seven day window to come back in so we can make it right. Because again, we are human and sometimes we make mistakes or sometimes we just do things that maybe you just didn't like because there might've been some miscommunication. And a lot of times we also like to have that policy too, because if you're new to our salon and you know, you're new to the stylist, it's just sometimes you got to get into like a groove of actually understanding each other in what your likes and dislikes are. And sometimes as a client, you kind of don't know what those things are. So that's why we have this seven day window policy of like, Hey, come back. Let's, let's fix it for you for free so we can make it right. But unfortunately there are a lot of inconsistencies with this review Yeah, <laughs> because we also have an email as well that is doesn't reflect the trim requested of the inch to two inches because I think we have two to three and a half inches or something like that. So there's lots of inconsistencies with the amount of length that she requested off and we have screenshots and emails that this number changes quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other part is, is that she's saying that she had to get extensions to cover up the butchered job when in fact she communicated to Brie and to the stylist that was working on her that she was getting extensions anyways because she wanted to do the color block service. Mm -hmm. So that is also a lie. And because we have a lot of this information, it's not that she had to spend $300 on her extensions. She was already she, going to. She was already going to. So there's, again, lots of inconsistencies in the story. And we can kind of get into a little bit more as to why I just kind of is weird that she asked for a refund for just the haircut. But go ahead now. Take it away. <laughs> when she came in, um, she seemed really happy with like Dennis. That's fine. Okay. Den Dennis uh, was the stylist that did her hair. <laughs> he was very communicative. Like he showed her how much he was going to cut off and she gave the okay. He yep. told her because she'd wanted a more healthier look. And she said, like, my hair just doesn't feel healthy. Like it's really thin. And he said, well, what are you doing at home? You know, like, are, like what kind of shampoo do you use? Like, do you use heat products? And she was like, I don't use any heat protectant. And she styles her hair daily. So he said, that's why your ends are a little bit fried because you're not protecting your ends. He's like, what we can do to get you on the right path, we can cut off whatever's dead and then we can do a straight across cut. So that way it gives the illusion that your hair is fuller and healthier. And then we can go from there because she also uses black box dye like 
every so often. And she wanted to do red money piece highlight um, to match the extensions that she was going to get. But he was like, maybe that's something that we can do in another appointment when you mm-hmm. get the extensions. So then that way we can color match it because she was going to go to a concert. But he was showing her how he was cutting the hair, how yeah. much the length, and she was giving the okay. So. And, and I know that he did that because we have video. So it just so happened. And I think this is where it kind of backfired on her a little bit in this review yeah. with a lot of the lies that were told. Um, again, it's not to say that she maybe just really didn't like the haircut. That's totally fine. But a lot of the things that she's saying is inconsistent with what we have in actual tangible video form because we also have a surveillance camera that just so happens to be pointed in the direction of where uh, her she was getting her hair done. Mm-hmm. And we got all of the audio on camera as well. And you can see Dennis showing her with the mirror, with everything her hair, everything. And she's she was wearing glasses. And she so put on the glasses put on the glass that he was showing her every step of the way because as she stated that you know she was I may be nervous about getting a haircut he wanted to put her at ease and I thought he did an excellent job at doing a proper consultation walking her through each of the steps and there's even which is really interesting a video at the very end of her appointment where she's even closer to the camera and you see her entire back and you can see how full and even her haircut is and she's playing with it and saying you know I love it it. oh my gosh there's gasps in there like wow it's so cute I love it and I feel like you know as just a a woman that gets services or you go out to eat or you you just you know live life right Mm -hmm. if you don't like something like why is it so fucking hard for you to say that you just don't like it like why are we saying like oh my god i love it in person like if you got a fucked up haircut you know that you got fucked up you got a really fucked up haircut like the the pictures that she's showing is just like if it was that dramatic and that fucked up then you you would know immediately there, there's no amount of styling unless you curl to the hair which he did not he did gave a blow dry to blow basic blow dry and again you can see that you would see <laughs> the inconsistencies in it right away because it's your hair you live with it every single day and you would feel it yeah there's just no way so you know again i just feel like there's lots of inconsistencies with that um i don't know if there's anything else that you wanted to add to that um no i think you guys all went through that pretty much um the only thing i did want to say like that all happened on friday and then during that weekend i guess they got into a comfortable position where they were messaging each other Mm -hmm. throughout the weekend kind of her talking about her sticker company and i guess talking about whatever concert she was going to so it seemed like everything was fine until monday yeah until Monday. So she went all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, completely fine. Again, they were chit chatting. Not once was it brought up in that weekend time frame that she was unhappy with her haircut. And then we got an email and then the Yelp review on Monday. Mm-hmm. And then the Instagram video went up and then or Instagram picture carousel and then the TikTok went up and there was a text message exchange between Bree and this person on Tuesday morning about how we don't offer refunds, but we want to see you to come back so we can fix it. And she basically just ghosted you, right? Like she didn't respond. Well, before the text message exchange, I called her yeah. over the okay. phone. Yeah, I came in that morning specifically to call her and she answered on the first try and she was at work. And I said, well, you know, if you're busy right now, like that's okay. If you can just give me a call back, you know, um, we received your email about wanting a refund. I just want to go ahead and talk about it. And then she was like, oh, I have a minute. And I was like, okay. So she went out and then I was like, so I hear that you're unhappy with your haircut. Like, I'm so sorry. We do have a seven day guarantee policy. So you could come in within the seven days and then we can go ahead and get it fixed. And I even told her that normally the stylist that did your hair will be the one to fix it. But in this case, because she was very unhappy 
that we would go ahead and have management take a look at it. And that way we can move forward with whatever it is the solution was going to be. And she was like, no, that is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I don't want to go in to get it fixed. Like, I just want my money back. Like, I don't know what's like difficult about that. And I was like, we don't offer refunds. When you came in and you checked in, you signed our no refund policy, but you could come in and get assessed by management and then they can go and help fix your hair whatever it is fix appointments and then she was like okay and she's like well I just want to let you know like I'm sorry she even apologized she's like I'm sorry like I, you know I don't really mean to like get nasty with you I'm just like I'm very like worried about my hair and I don't want to cut off anymore and I was like well how about you come in like um she's like I don't know she's like I go in at 7 a.m and I don't know what time I come out because I can't leave until all my orders are done and I was like well you can come in for an evening appointment like you did for your haircut like we are here mm-hmm. until 7 p.m mm-hmm. and then she was like I don't know I don't know if I can do it and I was like well unfortunately there's not much that we can do until you can come in and then that's when she said that she could come in that day in the night and so I told her I would go ahead and let Danielle know because she was the only manager who was here that day and go over with her and if it's okay then she could definitely come in um, and then when I texted her and then she, when she changed her mind she's like I'm not coming in at all yeah. So I kind of have like a problem with that because, and I, and totally understandable again, if you really don't like your hair yeah, and you're upset, you're every right to be upset, you know, 100%. But why two things? Why did you not want to come in yeah. for us to, to actually take a look at it? And then two, why would you not want it fixed? Do you want to walk around with a so-called butchered, butchered haircut? haircut? It doesn't make any sense. Why not have another stylist who is a manager who has more experience fix it for you and and then even so even if it was truly that butchered and you came in with it that like inches I mean you again we'll show the pictures if it was that far off I literally would have given her the money back and fixed it for her as a I am really sorry that this even happened and we would be having a serious coaching conversation with our staff Yeah, because we can't get better unless we can assess what the problem is. Exactly. So there's just like two things there. That's just kind of like alarming for me. And then when we tied it back to, you know, the inconsistency in her story with the extensions and saying that she had to buy them, but she was already, already, was already going, going on to. to. And then the, the fact that she was friends with two of our, prior staff uh, and media and worked <laughs> and we worked with two ex employees. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't seem really genuine at that point. Yeah, like you lose all credibility at that point. Yeah. There was just lots of like, was this staged and was this an act of like vengeance in some way? Like, yeah. I don't really know. And this is public. You can go on Yelp and see it and, and hopefully it's still there. If in case maybe uh, Haley decides to erase it. I responded with, we are so sorry we we're not able to come to an agreement. We never declined to offer you a refund, even though it does state in our policy you signed when booking the appointment. All we said is that we don't offer refunds. It's not that we refused to do it. Like had she come in, like I said, if it was that fucked up, I probably <laughs> would have given her the money back. Um, we take each negative review serious. However, in order to even consider a refund, we require you to return to us to see the haircut in person. Since you declined to come in to the salon for us to see it, we cannot honor a refund. Like I'm not just going to give you money back without seeing this hair. Like this doesn't make sense. During your appointment, you discussed getting extensions installed at a different salon, which that was true. Like we were, they were talking about the extensions. They were talking about the color block. They were mm-hmm. talking about coming back in to match and all that shit. So that was true. The photos you are sharing do not reflect the finished result that you received when leaving the salon. We have video proving we only cut two to three inches per your request because that was what was in the email and also what was discussed in person. So she requested two to three inches off, not the one to two inches and the finished photos we took show a balanced haircut again which is true we also have 
video of this, giving you the benefit of the doubt because we are human and sometimes make mistakes. We heard you and simply ask that you come in for us to see the butchered haircut. This is the only way we are able to not only satisfy you with a possible refund, but also use this as a coaching opportunity for our stylist. What we do know is the video and photos you provided do not reflect the photos we took. And we also know that when you get extensions installed, the hair must be cut. So my my assumption with that is that she put the extensions in and maybe tried to cut the extensions because this look like extensions put in. I'm yeah. sorry. It's just like blocks of hair. It just looks like tape ins or clip ins or something. Um, we are not responsible for another salon's work. For those who want to see what her hair looked like when she left the salon, we will pin it to the third photo labeled Haley. And that's what I did. I, pu- I posted the photo and I simply put her name so everyone can see it. Um, and then she updated her review and showing the screenshots where we're reiterating to her that we don't provide the refund. So it's just kind of like that screenshot to me is just like solidifying what I said in my response to her. Yeah. Um, and then she responded to that updated her review. Um, and she said in response to the rebel femme salon owner, not once did I ever say I wanted to get hair extensions installed. So is that true or not, Brie? That is absolutely false. I literally, (laughs) and I'm so happy that I got it right now because I actually have a screenshot. So she was completely just like going off on TikTok specifically. Like people were commenting on the video and I guess she was very excited about the attention that she was getting. And when I got home later on that day, I was just kind of like, you're literally lying. Like you're lying because I was there. She wanted to say that you were only responding to comments that were agreeing with you or that... Because this was the comment that she put, like, someone replied to her thing was like, didn't you tell her you had to buy extensions to fix the link they stole? Bold of her to assume you went to a salon. And then she said, yeah, I literally had to buy extensions to fix the haircut they gave me. So I responded and I said, Haley, you mentioned you were going to get red extensions for the concert you were going to attend. You even asked about getting red money piece done. And she responded, hi, Brie. Yes, I was going to try and get red money pieces done. As I stated to Dennis, since he didn't have time, I was going to get clip in extensions. So you bought clip in extensions. So then were you so then were extensions talked about or not talked about during your appointment? They 100 percent were. And then. And, because, then, and it's because it's not just you. Dennis yeah. was also here to confirm. So we have mm-hmm. two people saying that you did, in fact, want an extensions. And I'm pretty sure if I dissected that uh, surveillance <laughs> video, we're going to hear extensions being talked, talked about. about. Oh, yeah. And then I commented back to her and I said, so extensions were talked about during your appointment. And then she deleted her comment. <laughs> But I screenshotted it first. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, you know, fast forward to all of this. um, She put up the Yelp review, right? We responded. She decided to also put it on Instagram. She decided to put it on TikTok. And at first, like you said, the TikTok was gaining some traction on her page. I think she wanted that attention. She was in hopes of it going viral. And, um, you know, and, and who knows? Cause that's, that's really trendy right now on TikTok is to show like your butchered haircut and like, Oh my God, like, look at how terrible this is. Cause it's going to bring a bunch of attention to you and y- your page will grow. Right. I, I just feel like she kind of like fucked with the wrong person because I embrace shit like that because I'm like, Oh, we want to put this out to the world. Like let's fucking do it. Let's air it out because I have nothing to hide and I have nothing to be quiet about because you're putting this information on a multiple pub- public forums and I do have a surveillance video, which I shared and you clearly see her putting on the glasses, looking at her haircut. You can see like her or hear her say like how pretty it is. She's like, Oh my God, I love it. So cute. Like you see, and I have more video and what happened was what, what were you going to say? Well, I just think it's ridiculous that she's doing all of this and then not only is she coming after the salon, but she's tagging you in every video. Like, what else were you looking for other than your five minutes of fame? Yeah. The moment, like, you tag me, it's like you want the attention. And I believe, I don't know if you have the screenshots of that, Brie, but 
um, her and her boyfriend were accusing me of bullying them. Oh, I have that screenshot. <laughs> so I'm like, how can I bully you if you are all tagging me in all of these videos? So yeah. who's bullying who here? And if you're going to put something on a public forum, you best believe I am going to respond because that is this is my business and I'm going to defend it or own up to whatever the mistake was. But the moment you decide to put it on TikTok, make it a problem and demand money back without us even seeing it is utterly ridiculous. So and it's funny, too, because I feel like she started all of this chaos after the fact because she had already come in. That was on Wednesday. Correct. So, yes, she had already come into the salon when management was not going to be there. She was told management was not going to be there on Tuesday because she was told that management would be in on Thursday to mm -hmm. see her at any time that she wanted. Thursday, Friday or Saturday. And she made it a point to come in on Wednesday. Yes. And unfortunately, um, because management wasn't there, she showed up at the end of the day where I had one stylist working and I was the, the main reason. Huh? Two. Dennis was working. Oh, yeah. Dennis was working, too. So we had two stylists working. So they are not authorized to give any um, refunds or look at anything at all. So um, I being that she had kind of already did this Yelp review and all of that. I think she came in. This is my thought process. I think she came in because when she started putting that shit on TikTok, we were already telling her like we have video. Yeah. And the truth is going to come out. So I think she came in on that Thursday to in Wednesday or I'm sorry, th uh, Wednesday to in fact verify if we had an actual security camera. Because when she came in, was she looking for it? Um, you, well, she's sitting, yeah, she, you can see like she looks at it. Mm. So you can see that she looks in that direction to know that if she actually looked at it. But I mean, it's not like a hidden camera. Like no, you can see the camera. The um, and, uh, and I hadn't put any of the videos out just yet. Um, and so I think she wanted to verify if in fact we had them. And then I sent my husband here. And my husband is not a hairstylist. He doesn't know anything about hair. Um, but just in a nutshell, uh, just to kind of, I guess, give you a story without embarrassing Haley any further here. Um, but she was hysterical in the salon, crying. And um, it was so bad that my husband just wanted to get her out of the salon. So he just was like, I, you know what, just we'll give you your refund. Like just basically like, we'll give you your money back. Just like basically get the fuck out at this point. Yeah. I mean, he was a lot nicer than that. <laughs> than what I'm saying, it was just, he just didn't want it to deal with the hysteria that came with her crying. So I, it just, he just wanted her out. It was like irritating him <laughs> to say the least. And so when I got back, I was of course disappointed that that was, you know, the outcome, the outcome. Um, cause we still did not in fact get to see the haircut. Mm -mm. Um, but we went ahead and processed the $50 refund that she had requested. Obviously she's no longer allowed to come back to the salon, which I don't know why she would anyway. It was almost like, let's just get her out of our hair kind of thing. And then all of this social media shit started going down. I was like, you know what? I'm going to put the video up now. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. The moment you decided to take it to TikTok, you, you did your Yelp review. Yeah. You, you had your moment in the salon she crying. She Instagram. That she already did. She posted the TikTok and she fucking kept going. Yeah, she yeah. just kept going and going. So I was like, let's fucking do this then. Because what's funny is uh, she posted all of that and I had made a response video on our Rebel Femme TikTok and I didn't even post it. <laughs> So we were literally ghost on our side. Like it was silence. Like we weren't responding to anything she was saying. We weren't putting anything yep. on our socials. So it's kind of like you already did your Yelp review. You already went on TikTok, in TikTok Instagram. Mm -hmm. Instagram. Like you already emailed us. It, we already said we can't do anything until you come in yeah and then she's still angsting it on social media it's and, kind and of like we gave her, was, her money back and her money is already, and her and money was it, already it was back. almost like look at me look at me i sell stickers look at me yeah. and i was like okay like you want to sell your stickers like let's fucking do this then <laughs> like so i made the video yeah 
And I put the video up. I put two videos up showing disproving what she was saying. I put another video up explaining and my video started getting a little bit of traction and then it died. And I was like, what happened? And that was because all of the comments of that her and her boyfriend had made on my videos and on their videos all gone. And their friends even commented too. And it was funny because the hairdresser community started coming on and was like, like, why did you not just say that you didn't like your hair? I mean, again, you can see lots of inconsistencies in the story. Yeah. And I think because the hairdresser community was like, whoa, <laughs> like that's it. It doesn't match. Nothing the matches. Math doesn't math. No. So she decided to block me. Basically, when you block somebody, it erases like all of the comments and she made her her feed private. As of right now, I believe that the Instagram video is taken down or not to keep calling a video. The Instagram um, carousel. carousel was taken down because she also made her Instagram private. But I see you, Haley. So she made it public again so you can see it. And then she I don't know about the TikTok or not. Nonetheless, the Yelp still lives, which is why we're doing this podcast today. I just wanted to explain our side of the story. You know, there was lots of, you know, words exchange. We might throw up some pictures of screenshots of things. But at the end of the day, I feel like I was being professional the entire time. We were being professional the entire time. I explained my side of the story. And at the end of the day, I think like the moral, the story of all of this is if you don't like something, whether it's a haircut or food or type of service that you received, you should speak up and say in that moment so we can fix it for you. Because nobody, nobody goes into business wanting to fuck up people's hair like no. that doesn't make sense like why would we want to do that why do we want to make you feel bad you and know really nobody can grow from their mistakes if you don't tell them right then and there but i think at the end of the day it wasn't about her wanting to help anybody grow from her, their mistakes no, it was, she was just having a shit fit. yeah so that's ultimately like what happened um I feel like I'm missing something else to the story and the truth is too there's there's other Yelp reviews and Google reviews that we're not everybody has like the best experience right like um and there's some on there that you know we owned up to and some that I'm like whoa like hold up like that's not what happened so um you know at the end of the day you know you write a Yelp review um I may or may not talk about it on this podcast so um there's plenty of people that love our services they love what we do And, um, you know, the bottom line is we want obviously to make everybody happy, but what the reality is, is that we can't make everybody happy. And, and that was another thing too. Um, I'm going to leave this person nameless. All of this happened also in the same exact, like I would say 24 hour period. Yeah. Um, we had another ex employee leave us a one star review on Google. Two star. Oh, two star. Um, less a two star review on Google. So it was just kind of like, are all of these ex employees like, like still talking amongst s- themselves? Yeah, it was just too much coincidence for me between this Haley incident and the ex employees and this other ex employee that had nothing to do with Haley leaving the Google review. So it was just lots of weird shit kind of happening where I was like, what the hell's going on? Coincidental. Like, are you guys all really that mad that even though you don't work here anymore, that we're still thriving and we're still doing good? I don't know. <laughs> so um I what I would say to that is, you know, that shit was like so long ago. You don't work here anymore. Move on. Move on. Yeah. Go find peace. Work on yourself. Because yeah. believe me, we're not worried about you. We're just not. We're over here, you know, grinding, thriving, getting better every day. And the business is still here. So <laughs> not going anywhere. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, what happened with that two star review? Um, it was taken down. Like I said, it's going to remain. This person will re- remain nameless because I took it upon myself to reach out to the salon owner that this person now works at because this salon owner is also um, has a large following on social media. We're also salon neighbors. And I just wanted to make sure that I respected that relationship because even though we have two separate businesses, I don't want to be that salon that's in rival with the salon down the street. 
Yeah, I'm not about that life. If somebody doesn't want to work here anymore and they want to work at the salon down the street, that's totally fine. Good luck to you. I will let your clients know that you go there. That's kind of like the end of it. I'm not going to hold no harm or ill will towards you. So I did. I took it upon myself to reach out and I, I it was more of a, like a respect thing because I don't want that rivalry. Mm hmm. And I just brought it to the attention and, and the review was taken down. So, um, I, I will give, uh, that salon owner credit for that. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Awesome. I think smooth. <laughs> I don't fuck around, so man. bold of her to like, I'm going to contact your boss to let you know. Mm. I mean, the, the, the problem with, you know, hairdressers is there's a lot of, a lot of hairdressers that are really young. And they've never worked like a real job. Yeah. They just haven't. A lot of them are fresh out of high school, go to cosmetology school, and they've never worked like a real job. And like for me, you know, I've been around the block. I've been in this industry for a long time. Um, I always try to maintain professionalism across the board. I don't want to like cause drama or problems. Don't burn your bridges. Like, let's be let's be fucking adults. And so that's kind of why I went to the owner. I, I don't, I just don't mess around. Like it's almost like just be an adult. Yeah. It's the bottom line. This community is so dang small too. Like what's the point of causing drama? What's the point of like stirring the pot? Yeah, exactly. And it's just when you try to mess with somebody like me, <laughs> I'll just say that. I know a lot of people. I've been in this industry for a yeah. long time. And just because I work with like one specific, you know, company or brand or whatever, it doesn't mean that I don't know other people that also work at other companies and brands exactly. and other salons. I mean, I've worked with lots of people, especially in Southern California. I'm, I'm Southern California native. I know people from the Bay to San Diego. So just like at the end of the day, like, just be nice to me. <laughs> that's it. Just be, actually, you don't even need to be nice to me. You just need to be cordial, respectful, respect the boundaries. Yeah, that one. You have a you have a problem? Tell me Say about it. it. We'll work it out. I'm not that evil. I don't think I'm evil at all. Mm -hmm. You just make me evil, y'all. Y'all bitches make me evil. <laughs> it's like it's like poking the bears. Like, What's going to happen when you poke And it's going to be like, rawr. <laughs> That's what happens. Anything else we're going to add to this uh, Yelp review? Nope. That was all she wrote. Dang. Dang. Okay. I guess we'll go ahead and wrap up this podcast here. Also, I want to note before we get off, Yudira is wearing um, a really cute beanie from uh, Have a Nice Hair Day. Yes. And... Piper didn't ask me to do this or anything, but I just wanted to give her a little shout out. So if you want to snag up that little uh, beanie or some really cute wardrobe just for hairstyles, make sure you go check out her website or Instagram. It's literally have a nice hair day. Super cute stuff. Or they can send your friend stuff and then you just steal it from them. <laughs> like I did. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> so thanks so much for listening to the Rebel Femme podcast. Before we go, show us some love on your favorite streaming podcast platform and then make sure you follow us on Instagram at Rebel Femme and we're on Rebel Femme Salon on uh, Facebook and and TikTok right? Something like that No, yeah. just just Rebel Femme on TikTok Just Rebel Femme on TikTok Just look up Rebel Femme we'll pop up <laughs> <laughs> and um, also don't forget you can book an appointment online and shop all of your favorite products at RebelFemme.com We'll see you in the next episode May. Oop.